Welcome, my name is Regina and in today's video I'll be painting some pies and some desserts and if so if you want to learn how to do that then keep on watching. <laughs> more watercolor paper the hot press one and then this is the reference photo and right now I am just sketching the pie and copying the photo so for this one I am just uh, just drawing the outline and then um, drawing the shadows for later because it's really important so a tip for the shadows is to turn your image into black and white so you know which areas are the dark the dark ones and which areas are the lighter ones <laughs> if that makes sense um, so yeah so here are the brushes that I'm using, some tea and the water for the watercolor and the watercolor. I'm using the Schmincke, Schmincke watercolor one. So I just mixed yellow and I'm adding the first layer. Now I'm adding purple and I just mixed some indigo blue and some violet and I'm just adding my first layer of purple as the blueberry filling so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm just basically painting all of the blueberries blueberry filling areas <laughs> of my um, pie <laughs> of the pie it's not mine it's a uh, <laughs> never mind now I'm just like um, adding yellow again and I'm adding burnt sienna for the crust and I'm painting all of the darker areas which I drew earlier for the shadows so that's what I'm doing and just painting all of the darker areas where I see the orange color or yeah from the painting or no from the picture from the photo now i'm just adding yellow again and making the pie more colorful now <laughs> and then i'm adding purple again because the yellow is still wet so I'm just letting it dry I'm adding more blue to make it to give it a darker color so now that my pur the first layer of purple is dry now I can add the second layer of purple so that's what I'm doing now and I'm like and I'm looking for all of the darker areas again layering the first layer of purple and then adding the second layer and now I'm just wiping off the excess uh, purple that's going to the yellow area with water and wiping it off now I'm adding more orange um, to create more shadows to make my pie look more I guess three-dimensional or more real <laughs> just adding more colors and shadows now I'm just painting the plate with some dark green or some kind of like a muddy green and you can make a muddy green by just mixing um, if you have a green you can like add brown and it will look muddy and if you add more if you add more water to it it will look um, just less saturated or less less or less uh, 
less pigmented that's the word so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just basically adding a lot of water water to my green to give this to give my uh, plate a light wash of color and then i am just letting it dry now i'm using a smaller brush and to add extra details like more shadows <laughs> so yeah i'm just making my color more darker by making it more blue and just painting over the darker areas that i see from the photo that i'm using And then I'm just wiping off like the blues that just goes to the yellow by accident. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just adding more shadows to my painting and layers. just adding some magenta to give my painting you know more colorful or it's because I see like um, a pink color I think that's like the the juice that's coming out of the blueberries which gives it a pinkish color so I used magenta and I'm just adding some magenta you know to the areas where I see that needs it so again just you know i keep the i keep it light like the layers thin so i can keep adding and adding more layers um which is what i'm doing right now i'm just adding and adding more layers to all of the shadows that i'm seeing so the areas now that i'm painting are the shadows that i'm seeing from the the pie from the photo and yeah, if I wanted to to make my watercolor less pigmented, then I just add more water and just make you know add a light layer to the to the area that I'm painting, which is what I'm doing right now. So now I'm just adding more yellow and just painting the areas where where I see that are uh, that are shadows. Making my blueberries more darker by adding more blue. Um, it's indigo blue, if you wanted to know. And yeah, basically just darkening all of my shadows again. I actually like this part. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, does it have to be perfect? Uh, the way that I sketched my pie didn't wasn't really exactly how the picture looked like, but it somehow resembled it, and I think that's what's important. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as you layer your colors well, um, or even it, even it, even if it's not well, like it will still look, it will turn out nice. Um, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just, you know, mixing more brown. I, you can darken your brown color by adding more blue or... I think this is burnt umber. The dark brown that I have. It's called burnt umber. Um, and then you can lighten up your uh, brown by adding... Uh, some yellow or some burnt sienna or some a lighter orange to make your brown more brighter so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just adding you know just layering layering all the shadows that i see maybe this is you know overdoing it but <laughs> this is how i do it um 
but yeah i like i like the little details that i see from the shadows and then i just paint them using darker colors such as you know like this type of orange um so yeah i'm just adding more darker layers by using um blue um that's basically what i'm doing and it doesn't have to be perfect again <laughs> just you know do the best that you can and yeah it's almost done guys um I'm sure your pies will look really great. <laughs> Whatever pie or reference photo you have with you or you chose, I'm sure it'll look good. So yeah, that's this is my pie and I hope you liked it and yeah. hope you guys liked the video and I found it helpful and please give me a like if you like this video and comment down below what are your thoughts and um, subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching and yeah have a nice week <laughs> bye